Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Phil Studio. Um, I'm Phil, you know. And I just made myself coffee. So I'm about to get really excited. And you know, winter's coming. So right now it's getting more and more cold. I just have to get my coffee in the morning and even in the night. So. Yeah, that's it. So today I'm going to present you uh, one of my work in progress uh, right now. It's a, it's a cool and small robotic hand uh, which I managed to draw with my 3D pen again because I really like my 3D pen. I think that this project right now has been welcomed by most of the people I've showed this project. One of the negative comments that was a little bit recurrent is that Yo dude, you could print this properly with a 3D printer. Yo yeah, dude, you could print this properly with a 3D printer. Yeah, it's, it's, it's getting a little bit frustrating because you know what, this project uh, was meant to be drawn with a 3D pen and I wanted, I really wanted to draw it with my hand. Well, um, and actually I don't own a 3D printer right now um, and that's a bit why I didn't print it but meanwhile I think it was a cool idea to design it from scratch and just show the community of the 3D drawer um, what can be possibly made uh, with a 3D pen because yeah the 3D pen is not only for artistic projects such as this freaking nice dragon I just draw in 20 hours of work um, okay so we're back with the robotic hands I'm gonna try to show it more in detail because I think the mechanism right now uh, worth to be filmed from a close shot so come 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 nearer come nearer no just enjoy we have uh, this little motor as uh, scavenged from uh, an old lens projector. So here it's odd glue in the back of the actual end of the robot. And here we have like, uh, maybe we could say a thumb, the thumb of the robot. And here we have another part which is attached on the motor shaft. Let's say it's a moving finger. So it enables to grip the object. So we can say this is a robotic arm or just a gripper. Well, call it whatever you want. It's it's okay. Um, so here we have this little force sensor. So when uh, an object is squeezed between the, f the thumb and the finger, a change into the signal or a value will be read into uh, Arduino, the Arduino device, which is there into the Arduino device. Oh yeah, I love Arduino coffee. Damn, it's good. The more force you apply on the sensor uh, and the higher the value of the resistor will go. So this one is uh, connected into this little terminal block and then sent into these two wires. So the Arduino will manage to uh, track the value of the sensor. Uh, here we have a little contact switch which is the, the limit switch of the motor. If you see here in the in this plastic part, we have a little bulb here. And when the motor comes to the limit, it will trigger the limit switch. And we're pretty happy this mechanism is there. So it can stop the motor and prevent the mechanism to explode and cause fire. And here we have the positive and the negative of the motor it will be plugged into a H bridge so we may control um, the forward motion and the backward motion here we have uh, the original motors which is in three part with a little gear because uh, when creating a project like that you don't want your motor to be uh, really fast you want it to be strong to have 
torque you don't go for rpm but you go for something with a little bit more current it will just squeeze a little bit harder but you don't want it to break your egg every morning just test your stuff before you you put an egg uh, between the two finger and close it okay so we're gonna do a little test 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 i will be able to show you um how it's rotating uh we're gonna start with a five volt since uh, I think it's one of the best voltage to work with with this motor right now. So we're gonna squeeze on the cup of tea, cup of coffee. Yeah, you saw this. The arm just closed. So we're gonna reverse the polarity of the motor to make it open its little arm. You see, the motion was pretty smooth. Actually, the finger right now is not closing completely because uh, it's not finished. It's supposed to to get in contact with the force sensor. That's pretty much about it for the um, this little robotic hand. So it's in progress, but as you can see, the project is is pretty well advanced right now because I already have the shape of my stuff. The sensor all are already fixed the wires are just clean and identified so i have three pair one for the limit switch one for the motor that will be drive by the h bridge and controlled by the arduino and the logic of the switch and the sensor and one for the force sensor uh, to detect when an object is picked up and when an object is not picked up uh, i'm thinking about maybe adding some ir sensor to to detect if there is actually a physical object in front of the N and what is the range of this object and I just want to notify you guys this is a plastic hand robotic hand which is not perfectly drowned so it's not made to pick up your uh, your coffee cup because it's just too heavy but I think it's gonna be perfect for picking up some small and lightweight object such as uh, this uh, walkie-talkie from the mysterious hackers box look at it it's not that bad right now it can't hold it in place and it's not that bad uh, and I just want to tell you guys that thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed this this kind of eccentric project because it's not every day that you see uh, like uh, an electronic technician um, drawing stuff with plastics to make prototype yeah because I see this kind of project as a prototype at the same time I see these as experiences to give me uh, knowledge and um, eventually I swear I'm gonna take this computer and I'm gonna bring my sketch to one of my friends who is a, a robotic engineer and he's gonna print my stuff so I'm gonna have this perfectly printed robotic arm so you guys are satisfied with this just wanna say before I leave that I, uh, I got a little bit late in that uh, project of the mysterious hackers box because um, it's way more job than I expected and I'm really happy because this is a cool challenge and I promise that <coughs> And I promise that this series of episodes will be truly worth it. So guys, until then, I say to you, yeah boy, whatever, for the schnitzel, uh, get a sip of coffee, listen to my song, subscribe, like my video, share, uh, continue doing some great project and never stop posting in my Facebook group, which is a public group for uh, DIYer into the electronic world. And it's called electronic community i will share the link to you uh, right now we're about twenty thousand members and i'm really proud of this group because i'm the only admin and moderator in the group and we're still looking for um, an additional moderator because this is hell to to manage alone so guys enjoy yourself and be good see ya mm -hmm.